Right, I'm going to do an update on the garden now. Um, it's been quite a while since I did the last one and everything's kind of just past zenith point, I think. So I thought I'd better hurry up and do one if I want to continue this comparison I've been doing. So, yeah, I've got these sage in here. They really need to be got out. Although, they've, you know, they were cuttings. They've taken well, so that's cool. I've got the um, amaranth, which really need. I'm being embarrassed to show it really because it should have gone out ages ago. But they don't mind growing together in there, look. And um, they do go quite late, so if I'm sharpish and get them out soon, um, I should get seed off them. Oh, I've got these bromelards up there. I've got one over there as well. They took really well from those offsets from the original plants I had. I did want to see if I could try and get the bracts to form, but. Um, yeah, I haven't managed to research that yet, so it's not enough hours, is there? Um, this is a little ginkgo and a red sorrel that my friend gave to me, so they need potting on now. But they're much bigger than when I first got them, so they're obviously happy. These are the peppers. They're doing pretty well. That one probably I could take off. The chilies. He needs a bit more TLC. I'm looking after him. Uh, that one keeps getting knocked over by the cat, so it's looking a bit not as happy as the others. Uh, some nice peppers coming on there. There's a lemon which is kind of branched out. I'm not sure whether to leave it or cut it. Um, and it needs feeding. And this is a little house leek, which I love them. And my friend gave me that as well. Um, and that's grown since I've had it, so that's taken. They're quite hardy. Whoa. So the ginger isn't actually doing massively well in here. It did really well in here last year, so I'm not sure why. I'll have to keep an eye on it. This mint I could probably cut. The outside mint's overtaking it in growth now, whereas I was getting more crop off this at the beginning of the year. Maybe I'll leave it there just for... So I've got both. Um, that's the turmeric, which again is growing a bit slow. Mm, I'll have to feed them. Whoa. There's a child's scooter. This is the other one. That's also doing all right. Uh, um, sorry, I just don't you bring that bird in here. Well done, but stay out there with it. Right, this is the um, jasmine, which again I think it's great. It's got some good growth on it, but it needs a feed. And this is the lemongrass, which I was um, discussing with a friend of mine. Apparently, I don't think it's too difficult to get to this stage. It's the offsetting. It's problematic. So I need to look into that a little bit as well. And, uh, yeah, all my jungle's doing all right. <laughs> Jungle straight wood, because I've got two bears that have moved in, along with a parrot. <laughs> so I'm going to have a look outside. I'm going to watch... Ooh. Dead bird. Okay. This is my daughter's bed then. Oh, that's the lemon balm. Looking a little bit sad, but that's it was shoved up there at the back of the privy. I've just pulled it out. Wild strawberries. That's some marjoram, which hello. Oh, don't rub your bird face up me. Um, that's yep, yeah, that's the marjoram, um, which I know she doesn't want in there. So um, I'm going to cut that out and dry that. She, we've got a lot of poppies. She's got poppies all coming up in here. And this geranium, which she picked to go in. And it is lovely. Um, okay, so I've got a nice dandelion there. I did have to cut that right back to give other stuff a chance, but... So I've got, I don't know how they'll do, I don't know if you can see them up there, some um, Love in a Mist, some there as well. And then this is the soap wart, which is spreading nicely. Oh, it's the cat having a drink out the pond. I don't know if it's advisable, I'm still working on it. Uh, this is the Aquiligra, that's been beautiful this year. And the dog rose. Lavender, so this is all 
two different types of marjoram now. Um, I want this to come into flower. It's nice. Um, they're edible. They're nice using in food as well as the leaves. So I'm going to cut and dry some of that maybe for now and then work with that later. So it'll get a second flush, I reckon, depending on the season. Yeah, so yeah, the pond's a bit minging. But like, it's got a lot of plant life in it. I mean, well, that. I only, I only put one of them in and there's loads of them. But yeah, I need to give it another clean. And this is alive, which is good considering the cat decided to play with it. So the marigolds have come up around here. They're a little bit small. It's quite hardcore growing in the, these areas. It's amazing. So they've, yeah, come on all right. They'll probably establish now, which would be good. And this poppy, it's amazing. The adaptability of nature. It's obviously not that great there, so it's decided to grow small and uh, compact. Like this corn cockle in the grass. Because normally it grow up really tall. Like the stuff up the back. So there's more, oh well that's the black currant, which hasn't done that great because it did get infested by aphids. It's got some fruit on it. Ooh, they're ready, aren't they? Um, yeah, this is the little one's bed. She did put some carrots in, but she's not looking after them very well, is she? I'm just got some strawberries. And I've got the barrage, which leaf miners love. It's so beautiful. There's a pink one. Um, St John's wort. Hopefully collect some seed off that this year. I'm not going to touch it though, because it's the first year I put it in. And I've got the teasel up the back. And the wormwood, which is established really well. I might consider cutting and drying some of that. This is the red gooseberry. These are the eatable off the bush ones. I bet some of these are ready. I have to come and have a check. This is the sorrel, which probably cut off this now. Look, some of those seeds have gone already. Whoa, be loads of it everywhere. Cut them off, put them in the seed bank. So, yeah, the corn cockle is up the back there. I've just pulled some out because of this scented leaf geranium behind the allium. Um, I've also, there's some bee balm here, which is great. I've got some in the front as well, but it's moved from the patch it was originally in. Um, I think I slightly changed the growing conditions there by messing about a bit and putting other stuff in, and it had gone. Um, and I thought I'd lost it, but um, it's come up elsewhere, so I'm going to pick this and dry that to work with. Um, yeah, all the pup marigolds are put in here. So again, it's a bit hardcore because it's quite crowded, but they've all taken well and adapted. And the red... Co oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right. Got the fennel there and the hollyhock behind it, but that's got rust again. It gets it every year. So, um... I need to look into sorting that out. It'll still flower though. It has beautiful flowers. That's the rhubarb, which I haven't touched this year, although someone has. <laughs> um, but that'll, uh, you know, leave it till next year. And that's, I'm letting all that nettle go to seed now. So, um, collect that when it's ready. This, I wrote down what this is and now I forgot. Is it common knapweed? Ugh. Anyway, whatever it is, I know it's apparently got historical herbal uses and it's really great um, for the insects, the bees. So it's beautiful. I'll film that when it actually comes out. It's quite a light pollinator as well, so it's a good one. This is struggling. I think it's probably not getting enough water. This might be competing with it. It's supposed to be a bit evasive. It is big. Yeah, I have to do some, put some nettle feed maybe down there. <laughs> so the roses, I, do, I can't use them unfortunately, but it was already here. But look at that, they are beautiful. <coughs> and then 
and got the sycamore there which just popped up which I pollarded same as the cherry where's it gone? cherry, I pollarded that as well because I need to keep them manageable I'm going to have a load of blackberries from up here as well and this dock's there which is quite good because this soil could do with some help so um, that's good to have that there this is continuous which has a lovely lemony smell when you break the branches so I'm, I'm sure that must have some kind of uses the ivy is well established up there as so well I need to get that all on this back wall it's like a late pollinator as well I've got the um, ooh, hello Tabry or Bilbury I can't even, I'm not sure mmm uh. they're really nice that was the other Aku League where that was yellow. I don't know if I got that on film when it was in flower, but they've gone now. The slugs started eating it. I think they're actually edible. I'll collect some of that seed for the seed bank. And then I put all the strawberries in here. Is that to be moved from out the front? They're doing quite well. The sturtiums are start coming up now. I really need to uh, train them, see if they'll go back. Um, Ceanothus another good insect one. I've got this little harebell as well. I can't remember its exact name. And the strawberries in there. Um, so I'm sort of having the blackberry back there mostly where possible. And then the green owl connects there which is it's supposed to be evasive but it just comes up there every year. It fills that gap because it's really bad. Really bad under there. Um, Phoebe views come up, so I'll do something with that. This black currant sage has done well this year. I've managed to refrain from taking anything off it, so it will. Yeah, it's quite big now. I'll start using that next year. The sunflowers haven't fared very well. I've got loads of herb, Robert, and the little violet uh, oxide daisy. That was the garlic mustard, the jack in the hedge, which got battered about in the wind. I don't even know if this seed's viable. But anyway, it should come up again there next year. There's another red currant. The salad bonnet. And the ice plant. Valerian. And the bay, just up the back there. And the evening primrose. This is... Um, oh, American land cress. I'm waiting for the seed to be ready. So I can take it off, put it in the seed bank. There's more red currants. And some strawberries. That's uh, the uh, garlic's going to seed, the wild garlic. And then there's another gooseberry. It's a bit all over the place in the polytunnel, really. I was a bit slapdash with it this year. Need more organisation. I think I'm just going to take it all out and put some paths in and have like four beds but the chives are in here more strawberries and lemon balm this isn't liking it in here goji berry probably not some days I don't get a chance to open the door I'll give it a feed see what happens I'm trying sweet corn there Um, yeah so this is all overgrown with brassicas which isn't ideal the brassicas shouldn't be in here I need to take them out for next year and uh, rearrange it all because um, the garlic's died back I'll have to dig that up see, I don't know, I haven't made a plan yet and that's the lemon which hasn't branched like the other one look, but it does need a bit of nutrients, that's why I put it on top of that soil, but I need to feed it and we've got chamomile and tansy and all these poppies that have come up with the learning tree Apple mint, chrysanthemum, sorrel again, and the lavender. And oh, look, I could collect some of these for the seed bank. Oh, need to do that now. Grape hyacinth. This, which the aphids were on, managed to get rid of them, but it still affected the buds. Look, and it's still going to flower. Um, the oak. I'd say that needs a bit of a feed as well. Mint, more mint, more lemon balm, potatoes, 
there's the little vine, grapevine, and then I've got and the tomatoes. Ooh, and the custard apple, which probably needs a little bit of TLC. And I did put some sweet peas down there. Ooh. Not an ideal place, but I thought if they grew up and smelt there by the window, it'd be really nice. And then the last, ooh, it started raining. The last thing I was looking at was what's going on in between here, because there's loads of stuff. See, there's nettle. The dandelion, but there's chickweed. I can use that. And, ah, oh, is it broadleaf willow herb? That is edible before it comes into flower. Apparently, and I got see these poppies and everything. Come up there, marjoram and love in a mist. It'd be nice there, and even strawberries and this little grass. Because I've been having a chat to the bot a botanist about this wild bread idea I was having and he reckoned this particular grass would be a good one to include so I'm going to try that it's barrage and then this is where some ants live it all seems quite quiet now it's just started raining but there is also a spider over here he's building some kind of trap down there I don't know if it's for the ants or what Oh yeah, that's the back garden.